Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SK beat. We're kicking. Just kicking. Just kicking. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone. And thank you for coming back to the channel, Dale Schneel's 48th World, where we talk about people pretty much we talk about celebrities most of the time okay but y'all remember when they had said they were gonna throw Wendy Wiggs out they were gonna throw her chair out honey I don't know if it was her or her new manager saying oh hell to the no 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 you won't now we do know Wendy went downhill and I tell you it starts with that empire Halloween costume, okay, when she thought she saw a ghost or a devil, or a de I don't know, okay, but it was something that she was seeing that definitely wasn't what she wanted to see, and we do know her beloved son is in college doing his own thing, but he, he need to have his ass with his mama, that's what he needed to be, okay, that's because that's what it is, now, I don't know why they call themselves want to throw her chair away, and then she's in, is it Madame Tussauds uh, Wax Museum? They know they, they they were just trying to get a rise out of Wendy. That's that's what it was. They really weren't gonna throw her shit together, but I mean throw herself throw her shit out on the street or whatever. But we already know where that shit come from. <sighs> Wendy just lost her mind when these two got together and made a new baby. Okay, she lost her mind. She was totally freaked out, and she did everything she could to mask how she really felt about the situation then she started getting vindictive she went and repossessed a car that i guess kevin had bought for her sharina i think her name is don't really care don't really don't want to go into the situation about her okay because she was a side chick that became the main chick ain't that some shit oh yeah let me say that again the side chick became the main chick ain't that some bullshit right now okay yeah we all agree but yeah Wendy just started going downhill. Now, I ain't going to say she didn't have no problems before Kevin did what he had to do and put her in this boo-boo type of a situation, okay, where Sherry was coming, allegedly, to help her out, but ended up taking over the show. And I ain't got nothing wrong with her doing what she did, what she had did or had done, but you know, she's making a way for herself to get what she wanted to get. She, I didn't know she ever wanted to have a TV show of her own or a talk show of her own. But, hell, the shit landed in her lap. Why not take up? Why not get off the bench and start playing in the game, okay? That's how I see it. Hopefully, she fares real well. I hope she don't copy any ideas of what Wendy had on her show. Because then she'll be a copycat. And people will be dogging her out, okay? They want her to have her fresh uh, ideas, a fresh format. To be completely the opposite of Wendy Williams' show. Now, that's just my thoughts. Nine times out of ten, Delmar Mercury going to probably have the same shit set up. And it's going to be like mimicking the Wendy Williams show in some form of fashion. Now, we all remember this when um, she was out there watching, walking on the beach. And it, it seemed like a storm was coming. Why the hell she was out there? I have no idea. Her son was there temporarily. But, I mean, I don't know. It seems like... Nothing is good in Wendy's favor right now. Then, let's not forget, she got the Wells Fargo shit still going on, okay? She got somebody, uh, I don't know if it's a conservatorship or a guardianship or, hell, um, what do you call them, folk? A power of attorney shit, but she's in the shits right now. She can get her food, clothes, and shelter thing going on that somebody else is paying for, handling her estate without her wanting them to do. But evidently, there must be something to this thing. Because I told you, Wendy Williams had just got on a uh, 
podcast or a Zoom call with TMZ and Harvard Levin and his sidekick was sitting up there trying to interview her. And I'm telling you, y'all, she was making no sense, okay? It's almost like talking to an infant and you're trying to cool them down and they just got their own language going on. That's pretty much how she was talking. And in fact, Joe just, just, he made a fool out of her too. I'm like, is she going over? Is she getting re uh, illuminated? You know, they this is her, hum- her humiliation type um, uh, with a season or something. I'm like, girl, to be in all of that and to have to be shown this way, I pass. <laughs> I just be a, a regular old Joe or Jill, okay? I pass with that. But, you know. She's just been going down here. We thought we were going to see from her last year. We didn't see from her. We thought we were going to see her at the top of the year this year. Now, ran that whole thing into the ground. Do you hear me? Ran it into the ground to where her, um, now Jaden, her show was taken from her. Uh, because she really, her health could not really sustain it for her to come back on live TV or tape TV and we will all see she ain't making much sense, okay? She almost seemed like a clone, all right? That's malfunctioned, malfunctioned, and then malfunctioned, okay? So, whether or not we will see her later on, I hope not until she has gotten herself together, okay? Because I'm tired of people doing interviews with her, and she's talking crazy is basically what she's talking nonsense gibberish and like i said my brain would be fried too if wells fargo had their hands on my money and put out a fiduciary person to sit there and tell me what i can and cannot do with my money it's a two-handed sword you see on one end it's the feeling like i feel don't want nobody touching my money but me okay but on the other end uh, the other end of the spectrum of that sword it could be somebody trying to take um Wendy for all she got and they can't do it or they were trying to do it you know what I'm saying trying to pull a fast one on Miss Wendy because they know she ain't uh, focusing with all cylinders up there and you know so I kind of like agree with it but yet don't agree with it have y'all ever been in a situation like that where you wanted to see that other person's uh, benefit for something they say is going to benefit you later on down the road but then you look at them from an other standpoint of how did they get to you with this idea and who else they don't got with and did they try it? You know, almost like a pyramid scheme. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't know. We just have to keep Wendy in our prayers because like I said, that he could have had a son over there. You would think out of all his mom have given him, he would be able to go to school in New York or wherever Wendy, uh, Wendy is. Hell, she might be in Florida for us. We know. We don't know. Okay, but he should have went to school wherever she's residing. So he could get his education. He could still be a young adult out there trying to find the world and what it really means to him. And he could have been still taking care of his mama or at least checking on her on the daily. I'm not saying that he's not doing it and we just don't have the records of being privy to what he's actually doing for his mom off TV. You you know what I'm saying? Off the radar. So he might be doing that. But I would just like to see him more where he is with her rather than not with her and she's trying to do everything on her own i don't know who's pushing her up to do it or not or or who's you know chiming in telling her how to say and do and how to act just so they can get what they want from uh wendy okay so i don't know just keep in your prayers we're going to go on into page six yes page six have been dropping down these fabulous uh stories for commentary for us bloggers to pick up on okay but this was written by jessica bennett all right, she titled it Wendy Williams bringing iconic purple cheer over to new podcast. I'm like, huh, it don't really to me seem like uh, Wendy is up and about and alert. And it, it, it just don't seem that way. Okay, but the person she got as her new manager is Will Sabin. Now, Will Sabin is supposed to be on his own jurist, though, where most the who's who of the rap game and probably other lo- local celebrities they patron him 
to get them looking good get them looking icy you know what i'm saying on the wrist on the neck hell on the uh, ankle if you need to be all right but let's get on into the story it says uh, Wendy Williams was sure, sure to retrieve her belongings after the series finale of the William the <coughs> excuse me the Wendy Williams show earlier this month. And Admit reports that much of the set, including her iconic purple chair, will be thrown away. Now you know when I thought about this, I still ain't gonna do that shit. Cause Wendy, uh, Wendy can come back and sue their asses. You know what I'm saying? If they were truly hers and they were letting her have it, they should have secured that stuff in an empty room. I know they got empty rooms up there. You know what I'm saying? Empty like warehouse storage stuff. Put a shit in there until she can get well. Cause how they acting around here like they don't give a fuck. What's wrong with her? How she gonna fare? They don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? They just want every uh, remembrance of her ever being there to be 86 on out, like painted all in white. You know, we don't want to see no paint. We don't want to see no fluffy shit. We don't want to see it, okay? Because we're getting ready to move Sherry in, and Sherry is the new boss that's in town. But <laughs> I think they just put it out there uh just to get uh uh to see who gonna come pick it up was it gonna be windy or was it gonna be her entourage you know what i'm saying but anyway we go back to the story it says they were sure to pack up the cheer with care as manager will say he claims it will accompany the media maven to next gig to her next gig a podcast he will be executive producing see what i'm saying you got you <laughs> Well, I can't say because we don't know what type of state of mind Wendy is in. But we need to start vetting these people. You know, research. Do some research on them. See about their background. Are they shady? Are they, do they have past shady deals that they invested in on one of their artists? <laughs> These are the questions you need to know when you're making the kind of money. Hell, you could be a layman's person making ten dollars an hour. You still need to know where your money going. Okay, we don't know when we get the taxes take out to Uncle Sam. You know, the state and the federal. We don't know where that shit going because I feel like it. We don't need to be paying taxes. Okay, we're in a predicament right now where the whole entire economy is suffering and we don't need to be paying taxes now you got my vote whoever want to go out there and make that a rule the vote against i'll go out there with you okay because i'm tired of paying taxes it's too much you pay food taxes you pay clothing taxes you pay gas taxes hell every time you turn around it's a tax all right <clears throat> but everything don't last for long now do it but well, we going back to the article. It said um, that was Wendy's and it signifies the old chapter closing as we start the new one. Selby told the son, we are going to take it and that will be part of her new show. Now, see, that's some bullshit. Now, you trying to say out with the old, in with the new. We don't need to take that uh, chair nowhere. If she want to keep it for memorabilia, so be it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but mostly, I think she would really remember the bad part, the ending. She going to remember all the good times, the heydays, and this, that, and the third. She going to remember how they treated her at the latter part. And that chill would be a bad reminder. Because all the way I would see that chill is in that wax museum. Okay? That's where that would be. I'm just saying, people. Make it make sense. That's my other channel. If you haven't part, take of it. Go on over there. Subscribe. Enjoy yourself. And Come back and tell me what you thought about it, okay? Whew. But uh, going back to the article, it said um, we are going to. Okay, y'all. Okay. Uh, TMZ reports that Williams 57 had already spoken to Snoop Dogg, Fat Joe, and the Kardashians about potential being guests. She's also reported reached out to a member of former President Donald Trump family through Selby has not revealed which relative it's probably that one that want to uh write a book on his ass that's probably what that's probably the one they looking for okay don't be fooling us we watch we watch and we observe all right but uh as for the other memorabilia from the series we took it from the show when they announced the show was over, I said to Wendy, let's go and get your stuff, Selby said. And then Selby was a real man about it. He should have called them way ahead of time from them even saying they're going to throw her shit away. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, man, I heard that on the news outlet, in the media, in the gossip column. Y'all said y'all going to do what with my client's stuff? I bet you it better not be on the side of that street and it better not be in no dumpster or you're going to have some problems and you're going to be dealing with the law. Now, that's 
that's how a real manager would have got down and told Wendy, look at here, girl. I'm finna go get your stuff. You stay rested up. Because we don't need Wendy to be making no type of appearances, not nowhere, not even going to get her mail from downstairs. You see what I'm saying? She need to be totally incognito. And when she got her brain functioning up there and all good cylinders running at the same damn time, then we'll let the public see her. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what Mr. Selby going to be doing. Pimping her out. I can't take it. And if I see it, I'm going to report it. You bet your, your uh, big britches on that one, okay? Oh, but okay, let me see what we got here now. Okay, he said, I thought, why should it stay there? So people can sell it on eBay. There were some things I felt were iconic. Now, see, he already talking about the dollar. The dollar situation. Now, I thought it was just sentimental shit. He probably thinking about selling his damn self. Wendy, <laughs> it's time for you to wake up, baby girl. Okay, but going back to the article, it says that was in addition to a variety of wigs and some custom-made shoes and pieces of artwork that were created for her. All that stuff we took back to the apartment. Like, damn, you went out there and rented a U-Haul? <laughs> you were already ready for the comeback get back, right? All righty. Um, and the last part was says guest host Sherry Shepard ultimately wrapped up the show disappointing fans who were hoping to see Wendy during the finale. Wendy Williams can't even host the finale of her own show. It makes me sad. Oh, I'm sorry. It makes me mad just thinking about it. How are people okay with this? One fan tweeted with another adding, this was an awful finale to end it with the staff not even mentioning Wendy Williams was trash and shady of SMH. What is that? Sherry Shepard? No, I got, okay, I don't know about SMH. Uh, at Wendy Williams. Okay. A host of medical issues prevented Williams from hosting her own show for over a year. With the radio alarm recently revealing that her lipo lipodem ah, limp edemia, lipodemia, lip edemia, okay, whatever, had resulted in her only having about 5% feeling left in her feet. Okay, so we see Wendy still got some issues going on. She may not, or she may, return back to her old self. And returning back to the entertainment field as she left it. Okay, but if not, this can be a definitely a new chapter for her to just go out on in the sunset. And do a podcast here and there. Because Lord knows she's not hurting for no money. The only reason I know that. Because hell she said it herself. But we might have to take it with a grain of salt. Because look. Wells Fargo controlling shit now. <laughs> they might be putting their own little uh, private billing of services towards her account. You get my drill. Because ain't nobody too much trust in their behinds right about now. But I ain't never liked them anyway. I think, what was Will Fargo before that? Was it Y-Cove y'all? I don't know. I think it was. And hell, I don't like them either. There's too many bank fees. If you don't have this much in your account, they're going to give you a fee for that. If you take this much money out your account, they're going to give you a fee for that. You can't have too many transactions within a month. If you go over, you got a fee for that. I'm like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? Just let me take all my money and bury it in the uh, backyard. How about that? How about that? But that's all I got for this uh, particular article and story, people. If you like what you hear, you like what you see, you like how I talk, and that will be. Okay, I'm trying to make a rhyme, but it didn't really go that far. But anyway, you know what to do. Subscribe, share, like, and comment. Okay, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.